The quarter inch angle mount is the name that came up in the description of my part file for the angle mount. Let's show you that again. I'll use my uh, control tab and space over to that particular part. Let's do a file save as again so you can see how that description gets put in there. So I'll come down here and see it says angle mount for the part, but down here below it says quarter inch angle mount for my template, uh, excuse me, for my nameplate. So I'll just go ahead and hit cancel on that and I'll go control tab back to my drawing file to the border sheet. Now if I double click on this, I can change the size of that particular uh, part as you see here. And actually the title I mean. So if I want to, I can change it to 12 and so it fits in there just fine. Well that looks good for right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of that particular one there and I'm going to give it a name of who actually worked on this thing. So I'll come up here in this title and I'm going to put the name of my company if I can find that space there. There it is. So I'll click on that and I'll open it up and I'll say Richard Platt Design Designs and MFG for Manufacturing. Okay? That's kind of large, so I'm going to make that text a little bit smaller. Again, I'll come up here to my Times New Roman as my font. I'll move that down to about 18. And if I want, I can make it bold so it stands out a little bit better. So I've gone ahead and done that. I've changed, uh, put the title of my company, and then I put down here a description of my part in the title. And the actual drawing name or number in this case is Angle Mount. So we'll stop there and we'll come back to this in a moment.